Okay, has everyone got a file? I'm going to grab a file. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do tonight, they're missing the good session, by the way. Okay. Those that missed tonight. We, we, and by the way, we are recording everything. The classroom has already been set up. You'll get an email from Griselda tomorrow. Um, Brian, grab a file. You'll get, you'll get an email from Griselda tomorrow from our admin office. She'll give you all the login details. Um, and what that gives you, the Google Classroom, guys, okay, for those that don't know that are not aware, is um, all, the, class, all the, the notes will be on there, okay, as well as the recorded classes. I'm not, I'm not, please, I'm not ad advocating that you miss class, because there's always an added benefit of having actual face-to-face -face as opposed to, to online. But in the event that you can't make it, I know people are busy, people have got lives, okay. That's how they tell me other than CFA. I didn't know that there was other lives, but okay. But guys, in the event that you do miss, please don't let that be a stress to you. They all are recorded um, and it will be put on placed onto the Google Classroom. It's always the same night. As we finish up here, I upload to the classroom almost straight away. So you can watch if, if you're a late bird, you can watch late at night or you can watch the next day. Okay. Michelle, welcome. Are you taking the shortcut there? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. I'll even bring you a file. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's the Google Classroom. But as I said, tomorrow morning, uh, uh, Griselda will um, upload everybody um, to the classroom. What we're going to be doing tonight, guys, you can all relax. Okay. This is the only lecture you're going to get to relax. Uh, one time relax. Is I'm going to spend most of tonight on approach on level three. Um, the changes, what you can expect, et cetera, et cetera, much more so, obviously, um, than what the guys are, are doing coming up from level two. Okay, we've got one or two guys, perhaps, that may be repeating level three. That's also fine. There's no, I can tell you, there's no shame in repeating level three. There's no shame in repeating anything in CFA. I've got one guy in my level two class, um, CA, something else, and something else. I don't know what all the other ones are. Um, and failed level two. And he's completely distraught and devastated. It's the first thing he's ever felt in his life. I said, CFA can do that. <laughs> okay, so there's no shame, guys. Please, uh, you know, if you are here for a second time, it's fine. A third time, one of the girls is going to join us next week. I'm not going to give you a name. Doing it for the sixth time, level three. Okay, that is a rare, a rarity. Okay, we don't, not something we want to advocate here. Please, you do it first time, one time. Um, very doable, guys, um, and I can tell you our pass rates are in line nicely with the CFA pass rates in terms of um, the, the results that I do get from the students. Some of you know, not all of them give me their results. Okay, Typically, guys, if you don't give me your results after I've asked two or three times on my sheet, I just mark it down as a, a not pass. Okay, just my experience um, dictates that. But... Having said that, our lowest pass rates were for level ones. Our next were the level twos, and we got just just under seventy percent of the level three guys passed last year, which is in line. The, the CFA International is sitting at fifty six for level three. Also, again, that's the highest of all the three levels. Um, pass rates it goes from forty three about for level one to forty five for level two to up to fifty six for level three. So your chances of passing, guys are the best in this level. Okay, it doesn't mean you must relax. It's a tough, tough level because it will, I'm, I'm going to take you through all the changes. I'm going to take you through all the different approaches tonight. And probably next week we'll start doing actual work. So in terms of if you are planning a lift home or a date with your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, cousin, uncle, aunt, etc., we should be done before 8 tonight. This is only the only early night you're going to get. Otherwise, we're going to keep to the scheduled times of uh, 6 till 10. On the, we don't, we don't, as the guys know, we don't normally go all the way till 10, guys get a little bit, bit tired as we go, but we go close to that, okay? But is, there's a lot of work to be done. Guys, so if we just, I'm going to start off, I'm going to give you a bit of a, you, you got it in your front page over there, guys. If we have a look at the timetable, okay, um, you've got early start, which ends on the 3rd of December, starts now, runs through till the 3rd of December, okay? And some of the guys ask, what's early start relative to... Okay, the regular or the normal program. Okay, all we do in regular, uh, the early start guides, is I pick the big topics. Okay, um, we go through those big topics, and I'll explain to you why I've picked what I've picked. 
particularly this time around. Okay. And learning guys when you're not under stress and pressure and you're watching the clock from Jan to June is a much easier learn than it is when you're under that kind of a how's it Vivek? Um, under that kind of time pressure. So we're gonna we're gonna take us a little bit slower, a little bit easier, um, but no less um, no less intense, obviously. Somebody's making me walk now. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, so, guys, the early start, if you have a look, what I'm going to do in early start, we're covering the ethics section. Okay. Ethics will be done and dusted. Okay. Um, that's that one. And then we go into all of the real Portman topics. And you guys are not used to Portman. You haven't really seen much of Portman because remember from level one, it was a little section. It was one study session in level one. They jumped it up to two study sessions in level two. And we're not allowed to talk about this, so I should push, push the, 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 the pause button. Okay. But in level two, it was rated as a five to 10% topic. Remember that? Okay. Um, which means it was going to be one or two questions. Thanks. What tickets was? Hey? Yeah, great. Um, so in level two, it was rated as a 5% topic or a 10% topic, either one question or two. But if you guys remember when you got your results, it was a one, wasn't it? There was only one Portman question in level two last year. Okay. Don't be blaming Portman. None of you guys can blame Portman because you're all here, so you've all passed level two. So, but, but there was only one question on Portman. When you move to level three, guys, it is Portman. This is what it is. Okay. Almost your entire syllabus is focused around portfolio management. Okay. And we'll discuss that more as we go. But level three changes from the first two levels. Okay. The first two levels, remember the, the top ten topics? Ethics, quants, economics. And then you moved into your four instruments, equities, bonds, derivatives, and alts. Okay, thank you. Um, and then we had on the back end, we had Portman, Corpfin, um, and Fra. So who could forget Fra? Okay, you can forget Fra now because it's not only level three. So if you didn't like Fra, Fra, by the way, for the new, anyone that's new, financial reporting and analysis, that's mainly the county type sections, is now gone. What else is gone? Quants is gone. Quant is gone, Fra's gone. I think that's all. That's gone. The rest of it is back. Okay. Um, in one form or another. Thank you. Okay. Guys, ethics is back. As I've always warned you from level one, I've told you I've never lied to you. Ethics is back in the same 10 to 15 percent as it was in level one, level two, level three. And guys, I had a long chat with um, the. Um, head of EMEA, Kaya, the, the, uh, for uh, EMEA region this morning. Um, I should have brushed up on my Italian because she's an Italian lady, Laura Merlini, lovely lady. Um, and we are just chatting about the syllabus and the first, their ethics, by the way, ethics for Kaya and ethics for CFA is carbon copy. Okay, so um, whenever you finish this, you can move straight on to that and you get 15-3% in Kaya. Okay. Um, but that's not for tonight. That's for next year. Next of next. Whenever. Okay. Ethics is back, guys. So we're going to knock off ethics very quickly. I'm not going to spend much time on ethics at all. Okay. Uh, it doesn't, uh, albeit that, yes, it is a, a, a big uh, topic that we look at. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch straight to the second page, guys, um, which gives us the, the breakdown. That's where I really want to um, just talk very briefly. Let's have a look over there. So on your second page, exam weightings. We'll, 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 I'm going to go through everything on, on this page. It's, it's very important, but I just want to skip to the, the topics quick, quick, just to make sure we've got a good sense. Ethics 10 to 15 percent that you've seen time and time again. No surprises there. Quants is gone. Okay. Fra is gone. Quants is gone. Fra is gone. Ecos. Not a, Ecos is back, okay, uh, but not in a meaningful manner, guys. You see it's 5 to 10%, okay. Things like um, there's a little bit of um, interest rate parity, covered and uncovered parities in there as well, purchasing power parity, not crazy stuff. And for the guys that are repeating, no change from last year, carbon copy from last year. That's 5 to 10%. 
Fra's gone. Corp fin, for all intents and purposes, is gone as well. Your four instruments are back, okay, as they've been. Um, let me just try. Okay. Um, and guys, when I, when I say the whole of level three is port man, these four instruments make up the whole of your portfolio, doesn't it? You can have a portfolio of what? Equities, bonds, derivatives, or alternatives. Those, that, that is your, those are your items. And if you have a look over here, guys, here are some of the changes. Big changes from level 3, 2018 to 2019. Sorry, guys, that are. Okay, or back. This is a, you don't get uh, no discounts on this one. Alt, same old, same old, no changes there. Okay. Fixed income, a tiny change, nothing, nothing to write home about. Okay. Derivatives, same. Massive changes on equity, guys. Okay. This is, it's always been a surprise to me that e equity has always been a little topic in level three. Always has been. It's been one reading. Okay, they've jacked it up to four readings now for equities. Okay. And, and they're moving with the trends, guys. Factor portfolios, stripping out alpha and beta. Um, we all know this from the markets. Okay, no, it shouldn't be any you know, When I say it's all new stuff, it's nothing new to you guys. There shouldn't be anything new that you haven't heard of over here. When we look at the equity investment section, there's everything there that's old stuff. Old but new, but the CFA has got to put all the new stuff in. I'm sure you guys have heard in the market, everyone's so raving about it. All the, the cryptos and the bitcoins and the arcos and the blah, blah, blahs are all saying CFA has now given a stamp to Bitcoin. I'm sure you've all heard that. Okay, so excited. Okay, but it's nonsense, isn't it? All CFA have done is in level one and level two, they've introduced one new reading. And it's not Bitcoin, it's not cryptos, it's called fintech. Okay, um, how's my... Thanks very much. Okay, um, it's, not, it's not anything crypto, They're not, we're not investing in Bitcoins. Okay, it's just a little bit of fintech which they've had to put in because that's where the industry is going. Exactly the same meeting for level one, level two. Just for your guys' interest, there's nothing in fintech for you guys at this level. So you, you missed that one, whether you're happy about that or not. But again, the CFA hasn't given a stamp to, 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 to cryptos or Bitcoin. They've just put in because it is topical and it needs to be included at this point in time. Fintech is very important. Okay, um, Blockchain is very important. Does that extend all the way through to um, the cryptos? You'll decide that for yourselves. We're not fighting with any of the, the Bitcoin. We had an argument on the, in the FRM class, guys, and only one guy man has made money so far in Bitcoin. All the others are crying. Okay, he he got out at fourteen thousand dollars. The rest bought in at fourteen thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, so those guys are not are le slightly less happy. Okay, so guys, if you look at your syllabus, okay, up until this point, before I, I've purposely left the bottom line out for now, Portman. We'll get to that in a second. But there's none of those topics that you guys haven't heard of. Okay. And they're all the same. When I look now at all of these things, for example, if we look at fixed income, guys, all I'm doing in fixed income is I'm applying fixed income in level three to what you've seen in level two and level one, all those instruments. Okay. Convexity, duration measures, things like that. I'm applying them now to what? To a portfolio. Because I'm in portfolio management. Level three is just portfolio management. So all I'm doing in level three is I'm taking all of those instruments, equities, bonds, derivatives, and alts, and I'm putting them into a portfolio and I'm saying how do they apply to a portfolio? For example, for fixed income, we look at things like immunization strategies. Okay. Matching duration duration matching. But the concepts you've seen, there's not there's nothing new over there. Okay. And the last one is Portman. And Portman, guys, this is just the pure Portman section. The rest of it is all Portman relating to portfolios. Interesting enough, guys, the guys that have got CFPs. How many guys have got CFPs? Only Rob. Okay. Um, find the section a little bit easier because you've seen it all. Okay. Particularly the Portman section, the pure Portman is what we're going to be covering, by the way, in the early start. We do things like behavioral finance. Okay. We do things like um, individual portfolios. We do things like um, institutional portfolios. We look at taxes. We look at all that kind of stuff. And that section, by the way, this section, uh, the 35 to 40, okay, is really pure, pure portman. A guy walks into your office, you are a wealth manager, 
design in my portfolio. What are you going to put in then? Okay, well, then we've got to start to look at the equities. Oh, change back. Grab a file. Okay. Um, we start to look at all the differences within those portfolios, what needs to be included, what needs to be excluded, design a portfolio. Because remember, guys, you've heard it from me a million times before, a portfolio that you design for granny okay, is a different portfolio than you design for a 21-year-old. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to report, guys, that granny has now hit 99. Okay. My wife's, my wife's granny, she's now 99. Um, and uh, without being ugly, of course, but we, we, I deal with the, the FRM guys and the mortality tables say she's got at least four more years. But that's just mortality tables, okay? Um, but my son's blessed him of, of putting odds on the, on the 100 at this point, <laughs> as ugly as that may sound. Okay, I try and dissuade them, but they're teenagers. You can't teach teenagers good manners, unfortunately, not yet. Okay, that's much easier. CFA is much easier than raising teenagers, I can tell you. Okay, guys, and this is the portman, portman section. This is the pure portman, and this is what we're going to be focusing. If I take you back, guys, um, to the previous page, if you have a look over there, guys, back onto, this is what we're going to be doing for the next eight, nine weeks, whatever, however long it is, 10 weeks. Okay, pure portman. We start off with behavioral finance. We move to private wealth management one and two, and then we move along to... Um, Portman for uh, institutionals. We look, in, in institutions, we're going to look at banks, endowments, foundations, all that kind of stuff as well. Long-term, short-term insurance companies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Guys, this makes up approximately 45 odd percent of your work. And I'm going to come back to this in a second. Okay, what differs the early start from the late start or the regular program? Is if you have a look over here, behavioural. I do three sessions in the early start. I can only afford two in regular. But when you come back in Jan, guys, okay, it doesn't mean you could have to come back in Jan. You have to come back in Jan. But that will be a quick revision for you. For those guys that don't do early start, they just do the regular program. I have to do it a little bit quicker. Time is of the essence, and we don't have that much time in the regular program to cover everything in great detail. So the ones where I focus on more, I do in the early start. It's just a bonus, guys. Um, I just beg of you guys, okay, um, don't let the early start fool you to think that oh, we've got tons of time. We don't. Okay. Um, and what well, we do, we do, I'm lying now. We do have lots of time, but the time goes quickly. And you use this time to perfect the section. And when I, when I talk about perfecting the section, you'll see what I mean in, in, a, in a second. Okay, good. Um, and then, guys, what, I, what I've done as well, okay, is... We, we, we run tutorials as well. I'll tell you why I run tutorials, and I'll tell you why you all have to come to tutorials, even though it is on a Sunday. You have to come. You don't have to come. You should come. Nothing's prescribed. But you paid, so you might as well come. Okay, yep. Do we have what? Uh -huh. Yeah. Correct, correct. I'll show you. I can break it down for your pleasure. I'll show you that now. Pleasure. Okay. And then, guys, right towards the end, I'm just giving you the full, the full program. Right towards the end, guys, we run through revision in four days, three days. Sorry, that's May. And I'm just giving you a heads up now. You need to book Friday off work, unless, of course, you're the boss. And you definitely have to book off work because you're probably the most important guy there. Okay, uh, But that only happens in May time. And then we write six exams um, in May and June to get you really ready. Guys, remember your exam date is 17th of June. 16th or 17th of June. It's a Saturday. It's either 16th or 17th. And again, guys, we thank the Muslim students because we've got a bit of extra time. Okay, They gave us more time last year. Last year, I think we wrote on the 21st, 22nd, somewhere there. It's been pushed back a week. Okay, but we do have an extra two weeks, guys, that we don't ordinarily have. Remember, you know, for example, like the CFA guys writing on December, write on the 2nd of December. You always write on the very first Saturday of the month. So it should be the 1st or 2nd of June. We have got a bit of extra time. We're going to make use of that time. Uh, so I've pushed all the classes out a little bit, the exam out a little bit, the sessions out, etc., etc., as far out as I can possibly go 
um, having a look at that. Okay, guys, if I jump back over here, okay, is looking at the Port Man section and looking at your exam. I'm going to go back up here, okay, um, and you'll see something different now from the Level 2 program. Okay, you're very comfortable. Afternoon session, everybody loves it. Loves afternoon session for CFA. Okay, it's MCQs. Afternoon session. Afternoon session is 2 till 5 p.m. on that Saturday. Okay, exactly the same format as you saw in Level 2. No differences. You get a story, which they call a vignette. Okay, each vignette is approximately a page and a half. Can go up to two and a half pages. Okay. And at the end of those 10 stories, each of those 10 stories, there's six questions, just like you had for level two, okay, after which you've got, the, 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 you get six questions, 10 times that you've got in total in the afternoon session, all MCQs with a story in front of them, you've got 60 questions, 60 MCQs in total. Are you under time pressure for that? Yeah, just the same as level two. No difference over there. They push you a bit for time, but it's not your killer. Okay, the afternoon session um, is not what's going to, to kill you. Am I right, guys? Ronnie will tell you. Okay, that's not your killer, typically. Okay, now let's jump to the morning. Okay, the morning session, it's a brand new, brand new exam for you guys. Okay, and that's called CR or Constructed Response. Now, constructed response, everyone says, oh, CFA level 3 or essays. There's no essays in level 3. Okay. Your exam, your constructed response exam, is around about 11 questions. Okay. Each question has got four or five parts to it. Okay. So let's make times five. Around about, let's work on about 50 individual questions that you've got to answer as part of constructed response. These are not essays, guys. This is three or four markers, maybe five markers at most. These are not essays. Okay, guys that are good at creative writing, okay, this is not your strength. Constructed. Everyone says, essay, oh, good, I know how to write. I did well in history or English or whatever else in, in days gone by. This is not what this is about, guys. Okay, so if, if, if you're bad at writing, you're in as strong a position as the guys that are good at writing. Okay, it's not flowery stuff. It's not, uh, you know... If you're good at writing that, please come speak to me afterwards. You can help me write some notes. You're very grateful. Okay. But this is not what this is about, guys. Okay. So in total, guys, in the morning session, you're going to get approximately 50 small questions. Okay. Advantages of this, disadvantages of this. Create a quick plan over here. Critique an insurance program. Okay. You've got two different policies. How many options would you use to hedge this particular thing? Give reasons, justify, explain, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so forget about contract response being essays. Contract response is purely, okay, we can call it short questions. Okay, now, it's also 180 marks, just like the afternoon session is 180 marks as well. Now, just to scare you a little bit before we unscare you, okay, they did a survey at the CFA level, and exactly the same question phrased in MCQ, which is your afternoon session. Okay, the guys are approximating anywhere between 85 and 90 percent for the questions that they, that, 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 they took a, a bit of a control group and they asked them these questions relating to CFA three material, and they're getting about 85 to 90 percent on those. So there's nothing lacking with their knowledge. They then phrased those same questions, same information, same content in constructive response. What do you think it went down to? It went down. 40. Okay. So, either you knew that, Rob, or you're just clever. Clever, we know you're clever, but okay, good guess. Down to about between 40 and 45. A failing grade, guys. Okay. Same information, same content. Guys do not know how to answer. I don't know why it is. I do know why it is. That's what we're going to work on. Okay. The guys are not strong on the constructed response section. Okay. Time is against you in a very big way in the morning. Did you guys finish? No. Brian? Yeah. 
I'm not, I'm not picking on them. No, no. Okay, you know, they, I'm just, I'm just, you know, just, it's always good. We had, we had one guy in level two that failed, guys. Um, and uh, I'm not going to give his name, because uh, not that he would care, I don't think, because he stood up last, uh, last week's session. He told the guys, he said, you, I just want to give you a bit of a warning. You know why I failed? I'm interested to hear as well. <laughs> okay, a very brave of a guy to stand up if he hasn't made it. And he, and he stood up and he said, um, he was up till 2 a.m. that Friday night, still studying before the CFA paper the next day. Now everyone's shaking their heads and saying, "Well, that's a stupid thing to do." We know that. You probably got about an hour of sleep, and you know what happened to him? He t he was honest, and I, I really appreciate that because it's just nice that it's a, it's a human paper too, guys. It's not just you know, and guys, and came the afternoon paper and he, and, he, and, he, and he threw a massive migraine and he couldn't write much much more after that. Um, clever guy. And this is the same guy that said he was distraught because this is the first paper he's ever failed in his life. Okay, so we're going to, in, in addition, guys, to working, getting the information into us, putting the massive, massive hours, we have to work smartly as well. Okay, you may think, well, that's particularly unsmart to work, but everyone's different. Everyone's different. We don't judge anybody. Some people think they can work later. Some, my, my advice is you never do anything even on the Friday. Friday's your day off. One day off you get. It's the 27th, 15th or 16th of June. It's your day off. Okay, that's it. But take that day off. Okay. So, guys, our big work, our massive work that we've got to do in this level, okay, is we've got to get the morning paper right. That constructive response, that essay paper, call it what you wish. Okay, we have got to get that right. There's, there's no other option. The difficulty with it, because this is the first time in your CFA careers that they're going to ask you a question and the answer's not there. Wow. Scary stuff. First time in your CFA careers, because every other time the answer, you may not get the answer. It's A, B, or C, but it's there. The scary thing over here, guys, is you've got a blank piece of paper in front of you and you've got whatever marks you can put down is what you're going to get. And I'm going to scare you a little bit further and then we're going to stop scaring you. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm going to scare you now quickly. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, the, the CFA is working off a mark plan. Okay. So, no, it doesn't have to be the exact word. No. But it's got to be what they want. So, if you give a valid point that's not on the mark plan, then no, there's no mark for that. Okay. So, we've got to teach you the big trick part of constructive response is to teach you what they want. Not so hard. I'll show you. We'll, we'll get through that. That's why I'm going to unscare you all. We've scared you sufficiently. We're going to completely unscare you now and show you how to do it because it's not crazy. And as I said to you guys, interesting enough, it was our highest pass rate at Edge last year. Well, this year, maybe you want to call it. We're level three, guys. Close to 70, which is well above the international pass rate of 56. But even the international pass rate, level three is always your highest of the three. Level three was 56, level two was 45, and level one was 43. Usually it goes up, but you can see why they do that. They're trying to uh, use of a, a disrespectful word, but they're trying to cull the the numbers a bit so that they're wiping out guys at level one already. It's the lowest part, so they're trying to knock out guys there. Okay. Um, but yeah, ours, ours, was, ours matched the CFA guys. Our lowest pass rate was level one, followed by level two, followed by level three. Um, okay, so it's very possible. But we're going to have to. But in order to try and work out how to pass it, we've got to we've got to jump at we, we, we've got to see where the weak points are and that's what we've got to hit and i, I, I almost even say to people say to me like oh you're not going to spend more time on multiple choice no okay we're not okay i never ignore it and you can see over here guys i'm going to give you three full exams on it and I, there's going to be questions on it and there's going to be tuts on it multiple choice but it's not the key focus guys if you are in level three you know how to answer multiple choice questions and there's no difference in level three in fact, what the guys do is they use the afternoon session to try and bulk up their marks for perhaps a weaker morning, constructed response morning. That, that, that's how, not easy, but if you ask any level three guy that's passed, they'll say the afternoon session didn't trouble them much, the multiple choice. Okay, that, that's where you're going to have to try and, um, try and score. Um, any questions thus far? Have I scared everyone sufficiently? Okay, good. Okay, but the beauty, we've got early start, we've got time on our hands, okay, 
Um, and guys, if there's no, I don't know if the word is shame, whatever, but please, guys, we're going to do the constructed response. I'm going to take your stuff in. I'm going to mark it. Don't worry if your writing's messy. We'll clean up your writing a little bit. Writing is writing. You know, guys, please don't think one of the guys says, when he started last year, level three, he's going, to, he's going to get that writing looking like, a, I don't know what, neat and clean. I said, no, you're not. He said, what do you mean? I said, I've done this too long. If your writing's messy, it's messy. We're going to have to work on that. What we just do is you leave spaces in between each line, make it a bit bigger, write a bit bigger, use more dots in your writing as like bullet points. We'll work on that. You end up, guys, you're not going to change anything massively in your style. Okay, We're going to teach you a few tricks on how to do that. But guys, what I do, okay, um, and I get more and more nervous the more level threes come because level two was easy for me because the marking was just I plug into my computer, spits out the marks. Level three, I've got to physically mark each paper. Um, but that is where we're going to gain, guys. Is if you give me your papers, you do a question, um, you give it to me, and I'm I'm not nice when I mark papers. Ask the level threes. I've got to be honest. Because I can, we can easily pick up 10 or 20% in your writing style, in your writing ability, etc., which can pull that mark right up. But that's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to, I sit there, I feel like a school teacher, but in fact, I went with my daughter the other day um, to the stationery shop here, and I said, can I have uh, five red pens? She said, Dad, why are you getting red pens? I said, no, I need a mark exams. So my little five-year-old, bless her, she went and she told the clock, the lady at the, at the front to change the colors. Now I've got one red, one pink, one blue, one green. <laughs> I should have checked before I paid, but it's my own fault. So you'll get a bit of color back in your papers, okay? But guys, that is where we're going to, okay? If we have a look at guys, where are we going to beat the rest of the level threes in the world, which we've done consistently here at Edge, and we're going to, we have to do, we, it's the only way, okay? Two things, we're going to work harder than them, and we're going to work smarter than them. Guys, gone are the days. Please, I need to tell you this up front. Okay. Um, or, uh, if anyone told you, there's, there's, this, there's this twit in Canada, okay, who keeps on posting. I, I get more annoyed every time I read his stupid post. It says he passed level one on 30 hours. I'm sure you guys have all seen that post. Somewhere or another. Maybe I, just, I don't know why I keep getting it, just to annoy me, I suppose. Guys, you cannot pass here. Either he's lying or he's a professor in maths, economics, finance, whatever. Could be. The rest of us, never going to be near 30, never going to be near 300. 300 hours is just, they just kept that because it's a domain name and it sounds quite catchy. 300hours.com, am I right? Okay. I've read, I have read. I haven't yet, but I'm, I plan on registering the next one. It is available. It's called 400hours.com. Okay. That's closer to where it is. I, I would love to, but I'd really scare guys too much. We'd never get anyone in the class. 500hours.com. Okay, your two great areas of success, guys. Number one, okay, is that you put in more hours than everybody else. Okay, number two is we work smarter. Okay, which is what the, the, the value add I can bring to the party. I can teach you to work smarter. I can show you some of the tricks. The value add that you bring is the cast iron behind and give me the three, four, five hundred hours. Up to you. Okay, obviously everyone's got, and guys. On that note, you know, I always give you the same spiel every year. It's always advisable at this point, particularly for those with families, husbands, wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, fathers, mothers, whatever, that you approach your family at this point and tell them it's going to be a, a long haul. It's going to be a long haul. And are they going to see you on Sundays or Saturdays? Maybe for a little bit, but you've got to also, they've got to give you the time, respect, and... Guys, I'll tell you my, my one story. I had a, and it's not CFA, but it was CTA. Only, how many CAs have we got? Chart of Accountants. Only one. Yeah. Okay. So, Rishay will appreciate my story. But anyway, okay, CTA is the level just before you write your accounting board papers. Okay, very, very hard, very, very tough. And uh, I had one, I, 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 I used to um, assist them at Edge on the, um, management accounting and finance section for the honors guys in accounting. And uh, one guy failed one year. He failed the first year he wrote and uh, had to redo it. So he could obviously he couldn't write his accounting boards. He had to redo CTA. Okay. And uh, my phone rang and it was his mommy. So, hi, I'm so-and-so's mom. So I said, are you registering for CTA? 
She's now his mom. I said, are you registering for CTA? I said, please don't get your mommies to phone me. Okay, you're all big now. You're in. Okay. Um, anyway, so I said, well, what can I do for you? He failed last year. I said, I know. I said, so did another 70% of the guys. Shame, I'm sorry. Um, but he'll do it again. He'll, be, he'll come back stronger and he'll pass. And we'll write his board next year, not this year. Yo, what, 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 can, what can we do about this? I said, are you... I said, I can't believe I'm actually having this discussion with you. I said, what can we do about it? Nothing you can do. You can give him support. You can give him love. Okay. Um, and if you give him love and support, he's not a lazy guy. He's a hardworking guy. He'll get, he'll get it right. It may take him one or two attempts. I don't know. Everyone does, everyone's different. Um, but just if I could ask you one bit of advice, is just get off his you-know-what. I said, let him work. Let him, let him study. And he'll be fine. Um, am I sure? I said, no, I'm not sure. I can't guarantee anyone's going to pass. But my advice to you is leave him alone. Leave him alone. Give him, and as I say, give him the support and the love and the care. Okay. And I thought that was the end of the story. It wasn't. Next day, you know who finds me? His wife. I said, are you doing a CTA? No. I said, why are you finding me? I'm his wife. I, said, I spoke to his mother yesterday. I said, this poor guy. Anyway. Can we guarantee he's going to pass? What should we do? Should we make him work harder? Can we? What can we do to... I said, you can love him, support him, and care for him. She said, yeah, but he failed last year. I said, I know, I know. But it is what it is. Sometimes it just takes a couple of attempts to get through, etc., etc. So she said to me, she said, because you know, I passed first time. I'm thinking, sure. Smart girl, lovely. And something just struck him by head to ask. I said, well, what did you, what did you study? A BA in dancing. I said, I didn't know they offered that. Okay. Um, I said, do people ever fail that? I said, what do you do? Do you, you know, now, now I was having fun. It was, <laughs> I said, do you dance for them? You know? Anyway, guys, I got rid of her quite quickly off the phone. I, I don't want to talk to mommies and daddies and, you know, guys, this is your course. This is your responsibility. The reason I bring it up, guys, obviously, is get their support because it's going to make it so much easier. Get, get, particularly those, you know, that have got kids. Kids can be demanding on time. They ask wives, husbands, etc., etc., boyfriends, girlfriends. We had one level two student. After the first week of level two, he, he, um, his girlfriend, came, long-standing girlfriend, came to him and said, "You need to make a, How much time can you give me in the next six months?" So he said, "One night." She thought about. It, she said, "Well, now you must make a choice. It's me or CFA. One night is not enough for me. It's me or CFA. Level two. Okay. Um, he chose CFA." Got a new girlfriend, but he, he chose CFA. Okay, but it should never come to that, guys. It should, uh, th th those are those are rare, funny stories, but it should never come to that. And it should always be, guys, that you get their support, get their buy-in. It's going to make it so much easier. Okay. On that note, guys, when we talk about time, how much time should you be putting in? Okay. I always say around right about an hour, hour and a half, up to two hours every day if you can. Now you say to myself, "Am I mad?" You don't have time now where you're going to find another hour. Okay, you guys have got to push just a little bit harder. And, I, and as I, I, I don't know anybody's schedules when you're good. I'm very good in the mornings. You can get me up at 3 a.m. I feel great. I don't feel great at night after that, but I'm a morning person. Some people are night people. Some people can work harder, take an hour at lunchtime. Whatever you do, try as best you can to try and squeeze another hour out of your days, hour, hour and a half if you can. Okay. Um, and then on the weekends, eight hours on the weekend. Okay. We're, and when, again, when we talk about eight hours on the weekend, that's including Saturday and Sunday. So some people like to go four hours on four hours on Saturday and Sunday. Some people like to tell their families, listen, I'm, I'm out the game for the whole of Saturday. I'm working eight hours on Saturday, but you'll have me for the whole of Sunday. Whatever works for you guys. You know, obviously, each family is different. Each unit is different. Each situation is different. But guys, the key is you've got to be putting in approximately 15 16 hours a week. It's a lot. It's a lot of time, guys. I'm not, I'm not here to try and sugarcoat this for you. Um, but it's um, around about 15, 16 hours a week, which will take you to around about 60, 70 hours a month, which will give you the hours you need. Okay. Um, okay, I can't, I can't help you much more than that. Okay. 
where I can help you if you need any assistance with, you know, I, I, I don't typically give out a calendar. I just find it, I don't understand why, why some of the providers give out specific calendars with times because everybody is so different and their times are so different. Um, but if you do need help and you want some assistance in drawing up a, a study schedule, a study thing with, with the, your times that you've got with pleasure, I can sit with you, no problem at all. I don't like to give out pre-planned ones because then people try and fit that into their lives, which doesn't often work. You know, everyone, everybody is, is different. Okay, so guys, if we let, let me just finish up over here, guys, and then we'll take some questions, and then we'll we'll, we'll see where we at at that point. Okay, level one, two, and three. Level one are just the facts. Often they call it uh, investment trivial pursuit because you get 240 questions, and if you get them, great. If you don't, you move on. You get the next one. You've got 90 seconds per question, and you move on and. Okay. Level two was more detailed, de de bless you, with processes, standings and processes. Level three wants you to really think, guys. Level three says to you, information is information. Okay. We want you to take that. We want you to judge it. We want you to integrate it into a question. Okay. Um, and that's where level three becomes so much more than um, the other levels. Okay. Okay. Um, but again, guys, it's not crazy integration. Okay, nothing level three is easy, but nothing is. There's, there's, there's. Quants is gone. Frost gone. Those are the things that, that the guys hate generally. Corpfin, okay, is what it is. But generally speaking, the rest of the topic, you've, there's nothing here you haven't seen in some form or another. Okay, but it's gonna, it's gonna take great application. Okay integration to be able to really you're going to work hard okay and i do lie a little bit guys if you have a look over here okay um i haven't put any tuts or anything for the early start but of course we're going to put one or two in don't don't book all your sundays out till the end of the year please okay leave one or two for me so you can come in and write some questions and i can mark them okay it's about really putting in the the hard yards is it didn't there's no I'd, I'd love to sit here and tell you the, the clever guys will get through first. No, they won't. Clever, cleverer guys than most of I don't know. I, I should never judge you because I'm sure you're all clever. But cleverer guys than me have failed this paper. Okay. It's, it's really, it guys, it's really, really about the hard work and the application. That's where it's going to going to kick in. And when we talk about that, guys, you know me by now. Okay. When I say one or two hours a day, okay. If we have a quick look, remember my four C's, I, I, I was very encouraged, one of the CFA level twos add in another C for me, we've got five C's, well there were six, I didn't like the last one, I'm not going to use it, but you'll tell me what you think. Okay, there's a certain reason why we make level three green, Okay. people get a little bit ill sometimes, the files I mean, in terms of the color coding, won't make you guys sick of course, but look at the, the C's, okay, and the one C, okay, is, is the consistency. Now, when we talk about the consistency, guys, and we talk about putting an hour every day, okay, what if you're getting married, your brother's getting married, your sister's getting married, okay, you're the best man, the worst man, I don't know what, you weren't invited, you weren't, I don't know, whatever. The consistency says put in five minutes on that day. Can you give me an hour on the day of your wedding? I hope not. Okay, if you can give me an hour and a half on the day of your own wedding, you've got bigger problems on your hands, guys. Okay, five minutes, and why? Because it's that consistency, guys. Every single day you give me five minutes at least. If you're having a bad day at work, I just spoke to a lady just before we started. She's just been to the CCMA. She's not going to make it tonight. She's been to the CMA. She's had to hire and fire a manager. She's been a crazy day. So I said, I understand that. Absolutely. Um, it's not next week, so she'll come next week. But put in five minutes, guys. Because if you don't put in the five minutes, you know what happens the next day? You also do nothing and the next day, and then you're four days behind schedule quite quickly. Okay, a little bit every day, guys. I don't want to hear, okay, um, the story of my level two that worked until 1 a.m., 2 a.m. the night before. That's not where it's at, guys. It's consistent, consistent. It's everyday work. Okay, if your if your girlfriend, boyfriend wants to go on a date and you feel that it's necessary, not that I should ever tell you what's necessary. You, you, you're complete own people, but you think. <laughs> should really be studying. Give time to your relationships, guys. Give time to your life. Give time to your thing. But on that same day, give me five minutes. Come home from the date, 
the movie, the supper, whatever it is, and have a quick peek at your standards of professional conduct, your ethical standards. Or have a quick review of a formula. That's it, then go to bed. Okay. But also, the, the, it, when we say it's every day, okay, even if it's a little bit, but guys, the key is look after yourselves. Okay. It's no use in suffering a bad migraine on exam day because you've worked too hard. It doesn't, there's no use. Okay. Keep on exercising. Spend time with your other halves, better halves. Okay. Take the cat for a walk or a dog. I don't know. I don't have pets. Whatever. Okay. But look after you guys. Still live. You know, there's that, I'll try to send it to you a little bit later. There's that, there's that lovely meme of that, that, that little ghost coming out of a mountain after CFA. Look, look in, is there life? You know? Okay, guys, we don't want that from you. We don't want that. We want a normal life. That's how we do early start so you can work consistently, etc., etc. The next C, I don't need to tell you this, guys. You're all in level three is commitment. I can't even spell it. I don't know if there's one or two M's, but I'm not sure for that. Okay. Uh, commit. And there's another M somewhere. I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure for spelling. Okay. And they don't take off marks, by the way, in the constructed response for bad spelling either. So you're in luck. So, Warren, at least you've got some bit of a benefit over there. Okay. Is the commitment. But you guys are committed. You guys are committed. And I can tell you one thing. I had one girl last year who started and was a bit iffy. I said she should drop out the program. And she was horrified by me. She said, how can I tell her? I said, I can't tell you anything. <laughs> I, said, but if you, I said, but you're not committed to the program. I said, you, you. She said, how can you tell? And then she broke down and told me how bad her life was. She was getting a divorce. Work was tough, etc. I said, you can't write if you're not committed. It's too hard. You know, if you can't give your full to this, you know, um, it be, makes it painful. And um, So you've got to be able to see your way through till June 2019. Even if you, you are getting married, that's fine. But just make sure that you can plan for whatever things are coming as best you can. Okay, what's the next C? Okay, calm. When you see that question that you don't know, you can't do it, it's impossible. Never seen it before, okay? You just breathe, don't you? Take a deep breath, and it is what it is, and you move on. It's not going to help you to stress. See if they love that, don't they? All examiners love it. That where do they put the worst question first? And then when you complain after that was the worst paper ever, they say, but look at questions 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Those weren't bad. Yeah, but by the time you got to them, you were so finished, weren't you? Okay, we're not going to fall for that trick. Okay. My other C, which we've added in this year, is concentration. And what I mean by that, I can't even spell it, but anyway, concentration, is which, we, which, I, which I had a lot of last year, and I have it particularly with accounting guys, is they work mad hours. Put in four or five hours a night. They get back from work at, at, at seven, okay, and they work seven till midnight. They don't even, like, have supper or, okay. Now, guys, when I talk about concentration, I mean quality hours okay if you are too tired to work that night give me five minutes read a quick something so you feel you've done something you you've you, you've you've been consistent on some level at least if you can't concentrate guys don't sit there for four hours looking at your work and say Phew, oh, oh well done to me i oh, tick 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 look how hard i worked in your four hours of sitting on your on your on your behind spaced out trying to work when you couldn't work Go to bed, guys. There are times like that. Okay, if that's an everyday event, we've got to talk about it. But um, then you've got to find another time to work, perhaps. But the hours that you work, try and make them count. Because a strong hour, guys, is better than four bad hours. A concentrated, focused hour is better than any other, other hour. So if you find that it's better for you to go and watch a series, I don't advocate series because it's, it's never one series, is it? It just it keeps going. Okay. Um, my, my light, he downloaded something the other night, my 15-year-old, at about 10 o'clock. When I got up at about half past three in the morning, I, I checked and he's still watching. Uh, and I was getting up already and he was still watching. And it was a school night. So don't feel bad for him because he should have been going to bed. <laughs> it wasn't a holiday, it was a school night. Okay, so see, I, don't, I don't advocate series, but again, if series is your thing, okay, try and only watch one. I don't know what. But if you do feel you need a break, lie on the couch for an hour and then get back to it with a strong I, I, I'm so much in favor of a strong hour than a poor four hours. 
okay? Even though you might think you feel so good after four hours and you can tick, tick, tick four times, the one hour is better, guys. Okay. Now, the last two, you can tell me if we should add them in or not. See if I level two. Uh, one, one, one of the girls over there. Had to be one of the girls. Add in C for what? Chocolate. Okay. No, no one wants chocolate yet. Okay, we'll leave it around. And the, and the other CFA level two added in? Crying. I don't like it. Okay. Okay, we know there's no tears over here, guys, because we're going to be calm. We're going to relax. We're going to do the best we can. It's just an exam, guys. End of the day, this is, always remember, it's just an exam. It's a big exam, but it's an exam. Okay, it's not worth your, 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 your health, your life, anything like that. Okay. Although they do try and take it, though. CFA. <laughs> okay, we are going to, we're going to work consistently in a committed way, in a calm way, okay, and obviously my, my last seat in a very concentrated way, guys, because it's some, I find when I'm, when I'm working at home, if I'm drafting notes or something, and I've got too many notes to draft for the hours that I've got, and I'm just sitting in my computer, I'm doing this, okay, and my, uh, you know, my, my daughter knows me now, and she'll find me all over the house, I'm either passed out on that couch, on that couch, or anywhere else, or on my chair, sometimes I, I have a half an hour sleep, and you, and you, when you wake up from that, guys, try and make it a power nap if you can. Okay, you just you you energized. I can I can just keep going after that. So I want concentrated work, guys. Please. Okay, uh, let's see if I can add any more value before we let you go for the night. As I said, we're not going to spend much on tonight. <coughs> really, just an intro. Okay, the numbers, learning outcome statements. There's 335 learning outcome statements. It's the least of all the three levels. You can see the focus on level three, guys. The focus on level three is what? Integrating that knowledge, not necessarily the knowledge itself. 37 readings, that's up from 34 from last year, up from 31 from the year before that. Can I make it count this year, guys? Otherwise, from 37, I don't know what they're going to do next year. They keep on adding, so we're going to get it right this year. And for the first time ever, there's 19 study sessions. I feel bad for the level two guys because you only had 17 last year. Am I right? Now you've got 19. Okay. That is, those are just the raw numbers, guys. Okay. Let's have a quick peek at your syllabus over there. And guys, rather just look at your page because it's a little bit small over here. It, it, I think it's page three on your notes. Okay. Um, and this is mainly, guys, for the, the repeating guys. Okay, and it'll help you guys as well just to see where the, where, where, the, where the focus is. Okay, so guys, if I could just hand this round, if you don't just, if you don't mind, just to give me your name and your cell phone number, so that I can sell your number to a marketing company. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, um, we do form a WhatsApp group. Okay, my F4M class said, oh, they don't want to put their names down. I said, they don't have to. Then they all did anyway. And you must just see, there's, there's about 100 messages a day on the F4M group. And they all say, how do we do this? And then the one answer, the one helps. So it's, it's really it's a, a bit of a support group. But having said that, guys, you know my rule as well with the WhatsApp group. Please, please, um, treat it with respect. Because uh, you know, if, you, if you are added to a WhatsApp group, I, th I believe this one, CFA Level 3, is a very important one to be added to. But if your cat has a baby, I think we don't care. Okay? We don't care. Um, <laughs> it's important for you. But the group doesn't want to hear about your cat. Okay, please tell your family, your friends, and we, and congratulate the cat's mother. But please don't post pictures of your cat giving birth or your dog going for a walk or your new dog or your old dog or any other kind of dog. Please keep it strictly CFA related, if I could ask. Because then obviously people feel more um, that they want to be, belong to that group. Because it is important, guys, that we have a bit of a forum that we can all... Okay. But I do promise I won't sell any c uh, cell phone numbers to any, any marketing group. If you do get a call from a marketing company, it wasn't me. Okay, promise, promise. Let's have a quick look at the changes, guys. These are brand new study sessions they've added in for the first time. Look at this one, study session um, three. It fits almost under ethics, guys. It's the overview of the asset management industry and professionalism, okay, in investment management. And guys, they are battling. The CFA is just battling. Okay, we have got the worst reputation, by the way, guys, the investment industry in the world in terms of um, uh, integrity, ethics, etc. Every you see, every year this year, I add another topic to the ethics section, hoping that that'll help. It won't help, guys. It'll only help when we change. Okay, 
Um, it's not going to help for the CFA to keep on adding in ethical sections, but they have done it anyway. Two more sessions, okay, two more readings. Those are brand new guys for you guys. They're short readings, nothing much to write home about. But again, something extra to, to that, that we have to... So if you look at our 37 guys, that's where two of the new ones come in. Okay. Everything else more or less similar. They've dropped one on the asset allocation section over here, which was market indexes and benchmarks. It was a bit of a nothing reading anyway. It was a small reading that didn't have too much to it. We're not going to miss it. Okay. Then what's happened, guys, the big one, is that you can see over here, guys, if I move you down to the equity section over here, this is the big one. Okay. They had one reading before called equity portfolio management reading 25. They've dropped that reading in its entirety. Okay, so sorry for you guys that are back. You don't even get that one again, I'm sorry. But they do give you a complete new four. Okay. And you can see where they're going with the equities, guys. Have a look. Introduction to equity portfolio management. There's an intro chapter. Passive equity investment. Very important. I don't know how many guys, anyone know the company that keeps on advertising? Okay. Saying that uh, any percent that you save up front... Is a, is a massive amount that you gain at the end of your investment. What's that, what's that company called? 10X. We all know 10X very well. I've got one or two good friends over there. Um, Pete Armitage, I think, runs that as well. Good company. It's a good company. Um, but again, that's why there's a big focus now, guys, on is perhaps, I mean, we had one of the guys from Alexander Forbes with us uh, uh, last year, kept on telling me how important passive investing is and how the passive guys always outperform the active guys. Bit of an exaggeration, I think, but he has a point on some level. So that's the next reading is passive equities. Then we've got active equity investing strategies. That's 20, uh, 28 and 29 is active equity investing uh, portfolio construction. You can add a lot of value, obviously, with the construction of your portfolio. Brand new section. We're going to spend quite a bit of time on that. Okay. And other than that, guys, okay, no changes. Okay, so if we look at our big changes, guys, what have we got? Is really a, a, a new change on the ethics section. Two new readings there, and four new readings on the, um, the ethics section. Equity section, apologies. Everything else is the same. And guys, for the, the, the level twos, you got so comfortable in ethics. Okay, last year you guys all loved it, didn't you? Because there wasn't any gyps, somehow or another. GIPS, Global Investment Performance Sands, makes its way into level one, skips level two, but comes back with a, a vengeance in level three. That's uh, uh, the very last one over there. Okay, so that, that's going to be a big one for us as well. Something to look forward to. Okay. Now, I'm not going to spend much more time than that. Guys, if we have a look, is it, before I carry on, I've got one or two more little more things to do, but any questions at this point? Okay, guys, the massive, massive, massive focus is going to be on the writing. I'm not even going to start to talk about how to write yet. Okay, um, what, I, what I am going to do with that, with your permission, and we'll, we'll set the time already next week, okay, is um, to have a look, to, 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 to give me one or two of your Sundays, okay, just in the mornings, a couple hours in the morning to come and practice your writing. I'll mark them for you. I'll teach you how to write. And the trick is if we learn early how to write and we keep on implementing it every time we do it, another question, I'll give you tons and tons of questions, that constructed response, you'll, you'll say to me at the end, why was I making such a fuss of it? Because it's so easy. I hope that'll be your response. Never easy, but easy. we'll make it easier. Okay. So, guys, our plan going forward, if we have a look, let me just take you straight back to the beginning again. Next week, we're going to knock off most of the ethics. I'm not spending a lot of time on ethics, guys. And the reason I don't spend a lot of time on ethics, not because I undervalue ethics in any way, but ethics is exactly the same for level one as it is for level two, as it is for level three. So all I'm going to do be really doing next week, guys, and if you do want to do a little bit of home reading, okay, then um, take a quick peek at study sessions one and two. But again, guys, this is what you've seen before. There's nothing new. All that it does, guys, study session one and two, which I'm going to skim through next week, is what? Code of ethics and standards of professional conduct. You've seen them all before. Okay. Level one and level two. There's, the, the, there's nothing more I can add to those. And I'm not going to add, take up of your valuable time 
um, for that. So next week it'll be, uh, we, we can almost get through five or six readings in one session because it's, it's all stuff that we've seen before, other than the asset management industry and professionalism stuff, which is brand new. Other than that, there's not much more on ethics. But again, I'm not downplaying ethics as on important. It's very important, okay? But it is stuff we've all covered many, 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 many times before. Okay. Um, after that, guys, we're going to move on to behavioral finance. And from here till the end, okay, behavioral finance, private wealth management, etc., etc. Okay, that's all brand new stuff to most of us. Guys that have done a CFP will be quite familiar with that stuff. Yeah. The big, big thing over there is the investment policy statement, things like that. Um, but that we'll talk about as we go. And the big, big things, and just, just the last little bit, guys. No one's asked me the question, I'm surprised. Okay, is what's the breakdown? Maybe Vivek asked it in a certain way, but what's the breakdown between constructed response and multiple choice? What comes up in each paper? Okay, remember we said to you guys, you've got two papers. You've got a, you've got a morning paper, okay, constructed response, and you've got an afternoon paper, multiple choice. What comes up where of your topics? Well, technically, it could be everything. Agreed. Okay. Ask these guys. Okay. You, you, you can tell me if I'm telling the truth or not. Okay. Just nod your head. You can't say much more than that, because remember, if, if they tell us what was in the exam, it's a violation of what standard, guys? Standard 7, A or B? B. What's A or B? Okay. A. What's that? Well, okay, because remember, guys, in terms of ethics, okay, ethics, the code and the standards, okay, is everyone signed? Okay, in terms of the code and the standards, thank you, in terms of the code and the standards, it only applies to two people. Who are the two people? CFA candidates, and who else? Charter holders, CFA charter holders, or members, good, which will all be next year. June time. Okay. But until then, you've got, to st you've got to settle with being a CFA level three candidate. You know my famous question, what happens if you've passed level two, which you all have because you're here? I hope you're not just sitting here because you like level three. You actually have passed level two. Okay. That's just cruel and unusual to sit here if you haven't. you passed level two, but you haven't yet registered for level three. What are you? You're a nothing, hey? I mean, not a nothing. You're a, a very important person, of course. But you, you, in, in the CFA's eyes, you're not bound by their rules and regulations. You're not a candidate, because you only become a candidate once you register for the next level. Because otherwise it would be crazy, wouldn't it? Let's say, for example, you got past, and, and guys, I, I, I had one of these a year or two back. I, I'm st I still have nightmares about it. I haven't gotten over it yet. A level two, past level two, but hasn't taken it any further than that. Guys, you've got to finish. And this, of course, circumstance, whatever, I, I don't judge anyone, but I just, I keep on phoning her every now and then. I said, have you registered for level three yet? She says, no, she's going to, she's going to. I said, well, I'm not going to stop phoning you until you do, so maybe worthwhile just to, to get it done, because I'm a bit of a pain. Um, so a candidate, guys, you obviously you can't become a candidate if you just say, for example, pass level one, and then you never do anything else. You're not going to be a candidate and being bound by their rules forever, are you? Only when you register for the next level. Okay. And I advise you to do it early, guys. Is, is, who hasn't registered? Well, who has registered for the CFA themselves, the Institute? Don't leave it too long, guys, if you haven't, because they, their fees go up at every period. Okay? And obviously the fees go up in, in dollars. So please don't leave that too, too long. Okay, so typically speaking, guys, and I'm, I'm going to end off with this. This will be my last little bit. Constructed response, what goes in there? Typically, is the portman section. Okay. Typically, you're going to find your portman section in there, which is what? Behavioral finance. Everything we do in early start. Behavioral finance, private wealth one, private wealth two, and institutions. That's your big stuff. Can they ask other stuff? Interesting enough, always what seems to find its way into constructive response, I don't know why, seemingly is alternatives. Equities, bonds, and, 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 and fixed income typically go into MCQs, yet they seem to throw um, alternatives into constructed response. I don't know why that's... Okay. A little bit of ECOs gets into constructed response as well. 
Okay. Um, but typically speaking, the balance, your four major instruments, other than alternatives, go into MCQ. So you've got your equities in there. You've got your bonds. Okay. Um, you've got your derivatives in there. Ethics almost always is in MCQs. Um, Ecos sits somewhere in the middle. Alt sits somewhere in the middle. But typically speaking, and, and, and why, I can't give you an exact break time because we never ever get to see a break time. We'll never ever know. Okay. Um, the only time you'll ever get to know is on the 17th of June. And it changes per paper, guys. So it, would be, it would be almost um, not fair of me to tell you a number because it, it won't be that number. But what I do want to stress over here, guys, is Portman sits under constructed response. Designing of portfolios for clients, RPSs, institutional, behavioral finance, all sits there. And that's where we've got to learn to do our writing skills. Okay, so that's why I'm not telling you to stop coming after December, but the bulk of the course is going to happen now, guys. I, 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 I always try to get guys to come early because we've got the time now, we've got the energy now to do Portman nicely and to do it within a constructed response um, type of a format. Okay. Any questions? It's a very quiet class. I hope I haven't scared anyone too much. Okay. Um, but we're, just interesting, uh, we, I had to just throw this class in because we're a little bit behind time. But if you do have a quick look at your schedule, guys, please don't come next week Wednesday. You can come, but there won't be anyone else here. Yeah? There'll be the foundations program. Okay. Um, everything else from now, guys, moves on to Mondays. Just please keep that in mind. Okay, um, I wanted to have it this Monday. I couldn't make this Monday. We had FRM. Okay, um, but everything from now, guys, moves to Monday. If you come on Wednesday, you're on your own. Okay, you've been warned. Um, I'll form the WhatsApp group for the guys a little bit later. Any questions? Nothing. Guys, obviously, also, um, in terms of your parking, the old guys know, but the new guys, park anywhere you like um, in, San in Santon City. Okay. Um, we give you a, f a free voucher out, okay? Um, throw your ticket in the dust. We don't reconcile. <laughs> we should, but we don't. Just throw your ticket out so you don't put the wrong one in. Um, and just make sure you grab a ticket on your way out. Any specific questions that you want to ask me, please come up. Otherwise, we will see you on Monday. Okay. And that was your early class, guys. I don't want any... Don't tell me I'm, I'm not... Just in time for the football. I, I, it wasn't planned. <laughs> Me <laughs>